hey hi friends welcome back to bahu automation lab once again and uh, in this uh, video session let's try to learn practically what is me mean by these keywords like given when then and and but in the feature file and uh, in the getting syntax okay so first of all let's understand what is um, the keyword like given the given step describes the initial stage of the system or its preconditions okay for example uh, let's see here practically we have given like a step one here like a given i ha i have account with the balance r is 50000 so it will define the precondition okay before we return uh, next step it will describe the initial stage okay or or a precondition of the uh, describe the of the system right so uh, it out outlines what happened in the past or a state of the system before any action take place before we take any action like i am inserting card this is the action right i insert the card when i insert the card this is the action so before taken any action uh, it will describe uh, the state like it it simply means that it will describe the past whatever we have done like for example uh, if you write any another scenario here like um, let's say login To website okay let's say login to website I written here like a given statement as I am on login page I'm on login page so this is uh, the precondition okay we have defined key before we log in to the any website we require to go to the login page so this is the past or this de define the precondition in the given keyword using given keyword like it's acceptable to have a multiple given step in the feature uh, we can write a multiple step uh, in the feature also okay like uh, given i am on the login page like if, if, if i can write like here given i am enter user name but this is the action like entering the username is the action so given we can write a multiple givens but this is not a good idea uh, to return like action in the given statement okay so i'll explain is this but we can write it it is no issue but it's it's a better to have a one given with the preconditions in the one scenario so now let's understand the uh, keyword like when so when the when step is used to describe the action performed by the user in the system or system multiple when statement can be used in the feature file for example describe the action performed by the user here when uh, given is the uh, precondition like i have account uh, with the balance and when is the action like i uh, insert the atm card is the action like so here if i written like a given i am on the login page so we require to like uh, write here like a when uh, like I entered user name like that. So in this way, we can define the okay, it's case sensitive. So written in the capital letters itself. So when I enter the username, so this is the action whatever uh, we performed here. Like okay, we it's a uh, you can write a multiple when statement in the feature but to improve the readability uh, i rec it's recommended that to use the and keyword when multiple when steps are used okay we require to like like uh, type here like a when i entered like password so this is not a good idea we can write it in the when when like that but it's not a good idea apart from this uh, for the mode readability so we can write here and okay apart from using when multiple times so in the feature you can use it but this is the not uh, recommended so always use and statement after that right there so this is the what about when uh, keyword in the feature file let's understand the next keyword is called as a then so then the then steps outlines its expected outcome after the action is performed it's described what should be happen when the action is executed okay so whenever we return the then like uh, here like 
first statement is uh, precondition like i have account with the balance of rs 50000 like next action is like i am inserted the atm card next action is i am entered the pin as 1234 like next action is and i am selecting the withdraw option and next action is i am enter withdrawal amount as 10000 and here what is the expected outcome after the performing all these actions we can describe that uh, step in the then statement. So then I should receive RS 10,000 in cash. This is the outcome after performing this action, this preconditions and everything. Right like that. So this is how uh, we can, when we define the then, it should be expected outcomes only. It describes what should be happen after ex actions, all these actions get executed. Like here I am entered the username, I am entered the password and like and uh, like click click on login button so uh, here is the outcome like then should be login successfully so this is the outcome after uh, uh, the pro uh, executing these actions right so this is the then statement, whatever you are using, right? So now let's understand uh, the some anti part anti patterns uh, while creating this step definitions file. Okay, so uh, returning this step in the scenario. So step anti patterns to avoid. Okay, guys, this is very important while working with the uh, this step definition file. So let's understand this very carefully. Like in uh, like in in appropriate use of given the given step should be uh, should not be used uh, to perform action like for example here uh, we have i am on the login page uh, like inappropriate use like uh, if i define here like i am on a login page this is the precondition right right if i like uh, define here like i enter entered user name so this is the action we are written on the given statement so this is not recommended at all like that given is always start with the precondition itself so this should be get an un appropriate use of given should be avoided while written returning this and step steps in the scenario okay so given should be the precondition so this is the one thing we need to understand and keep it in mind right so next thing is it it's meant uh, for describing the initial state of uh, preconditions of the system and not for action execution okay so ex action execution we never use given statement okay and uh, one more anti patterns uh, as per the my understanding i'll, I'll just suggest you like uh, the steps here uh, we can't define like a multiple steps okay like four or five steps in there we need to avoid that in the system because whatever implementation for the steps we are doing in the step definition files itself okay so it should be more readable like uh, like i am on a login page it's it's a given it's preconditioned is it okay like like when i enter the username uh, like and i enter the password like and i click on the login button we can avoid the steps using like this when I entered credentials, okay, credentials. So it will be um, like valid or uh, invalid, whatever you can write. Uh, but valid or invalid credentials, okay. So it this like steps completed in this th three steps only, like uh, like. Uh, given I am on the login page, when I entered the valid credentials, uh, then I should be logged in successfully. Whatever implementation for this step definitions, you can implement it in the step definition file. But just think on how we can uh, like avoid the anti patterns or multiple steps for the step definition. It will be uh, four or five steps for the particular one scenario is the better way to write a steps in this uh, uh, working syntax and in the feature files. Okay. So you have to think like that, ki how better way we can define the step step in the step definition file, right? Uh, steps in the feature files. So uh, let's avoid multiple ands. Let's avoid multiple veins. Let's uh, avoid to uh, perform an action in the given statement. Okay. So this is about uh, the keywords like when, given, 
and then and uh, how to avoid the anti patterns in the uh, feature uh, file okay if you have any doubt related to this topic you can just comment out me i'll give the answer related to this okay uh, if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe bahu automation live and also uh, don't forget to share this with your friends colleagues so they can also learn the automation things practically in the uh, industrial standard way okay so let's meet in next chapter uh, we'll continue this session in the next chapter so till time have a great day bye bye take care